Check this out. What's up, people? Welcome to the What's Really Good Show. I remind Jamal. And I'm A minus. And I'm Nishi. 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 I'm like, I feel like we gotta say it every time, man. I like, I it. like Nishi. That. Nishi. <laughs> Hi, Nishi. There you go. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, y'all. This is the show that, that we talk about what you post on our reallygoody.com Facebook page. Okay. Um, we have a Reddit page also, if you know what Reddit is. You can go on there and you can post stories and they'll be voted up and down and we'll possibly talk about them on our show. So that's what this is about and that's what we do. That's what we do. Right? Hey, do right. y'all notice anything different? Oh, yeah. It's a, quite a few different things going on right now. For those that actually watch, watch the show. <laughs> right, 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 right. right. <laughs> yeah, guys, we're uh, trying to make things better, you know? So it gets greater later. Right? Yeah, we got banners now. We got three computers, an extra body. Right. We are <laughs> moving up. She's more than that. <laughs> and my extra body. <laughs> it's silly, man. So, guys, um, uh, you know, like I said, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're gonna do something different. We just want to do like an open, you know, dialogue. So, just you know, talk about things that that may concern us. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and you know, start it off. We might not do this every show, but this is something that I feel like I want to do on this show. Okay. okay. Um, well, I say ladies first. Ladies first? Ladies I, don't, first. I don't think she really... Nisha, you got anything to talk about? I had a great Mother's Day. Oh, That's there you good. go. It is Mother's Day. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Happy, Mother's Day. Day. Oh, you Happy right. Mother's Day, Mom. Right, right. If you're watching. <laughs> right. But I forgot to tell you about what I'm doing. <laughs> but it's okay. You can tell her. Hey, she got a lot of episodes to, to go back and That's watch. True. That's true. That's right. true. Yeah, happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful, wonderful mothers out there in the world. Yes, yes. We thank you. We love you. Yes. Keep taking care of your children. That's right. May she? <laughs> happy Mother's Day. <laughs> no, I'm saying. Really? No. no. We said ladies like, first. Now. It's, it's your turn. Right, he's grown now. He can take care of himself. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. All right, so anyway, guys, um, I'm going to start off by saying, like, I might lose a few Facebook friends uh -oh. over this one. Uh oh. But I'm just, hey, I'm just, this is the What's Really Good show, and this is, you know, it's what it's for. So, anyway, have you guys, I don't know what kind of, you know, the, the friends that you might have on your pages. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, you know, and I've heard this a lot in different, you know, podcasts that I listen to. Mm -hmm. Some people pick and choose who they add. Some people just, hey, accept everybody, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I kind of was, you know, I accepted a lot of people. Some people I don't really know. I'm just going to keep it real. You know, I don't know everybody that's on my Facebook page. But okay? for the profession that we're in, right, we're you trying have to, to do that. Right, you have to do that yeah. because I was doing the music and stuff and there I was trying go. to reach out to a lot of people. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, accepting everybody. Right. But, um, and I know you can hide people and, you know what I'm saying, you don't got to see their posts and this, that, and the other. But anyway, what's going on with the middle finger pictures? The middle finger pictures? Yes. I don't have you don't? No, I don't have friends. I see a lot of kids doing the middle fingers. Okay. I don't have friends like that. I you see don't a, have friends like that. I guess I see I'm a, picky. There you that's good. That's and good. you're supposed to do that. But for, we have, like I said, we got to promote stuff, so we right. usually accept anybody. But yeah, I have seen a man. lot of people really? throwing up the middle finger. You never seen the pictures like. I have not seen anything like listen, that. Listen, man, like straight up, like I'm talking like almost every picture that people take, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it's a big thing now to have your middle finger up in the picture, like with a smile on your face or mugging or whatever you doing. It's like the new peace symbol it's, or something. Yeah, it's like the new peace sign. It's, it's, it's having the middle finger up. But basically saying, screw you. To anybody who's looking at the picture. But right. I, mean, I mean, I understand that some people are like, you're being sensitive or whatever. It's not aimed at you, but it's aimed at whoever I, used I'm the, looking at used it the and picture. the finger's right at me, so. Uh... But <laughs> really, this this... What, what we're saying and what I'm saying about this is that we really need to like think about what we do and what we put out here on Facebook. Now, when I brought up the middle finger thing, what did you say? You said kids. You see kids. 
Now, I know that I got some, you know, uh, like my little brother and, you know, maybe some of his friends or, you know, you got some younger people, some kids and stuff, and you mm -hmm. might have. Yep. And first thing you thought of was kids. Mm -hmm. But I'm no, it's not just the kids. It's the adults. Like, how? what's the age when you're an adult? Where does it start? Hmm? If they're doing stuff like that, I think that's questionable. Okay. Well, there you go. You know? If they're an adult or not. Well, that's, but I'm just saying, though, let's be adults. Like, where does it... Some maturity. Right, but I'm just saying, it's like, man, it's... Well, basically, what you're saying is, when you put yourself out there like that, being an adult, yeah. putting out your middle finger, you're probably trying to figure out, why I can't get that job? Right. <laughs> it's a lot of employers on Facebook now advertising their company, so what makes you think they're not looking at your profile? They are, and that's that's the thing, guys. Um, You know, I heard of stories. Companies are starting to look at people's... Facebook pages and everything, mm -hmm. okay? And if you, okay, say, okay, I already got a job, okay? Well, you might want a promotion one day <laughs> or whatever it is. They're looking at everything we do. And um, it was a few weeks ago, what was it, um, uh, 420, okay, the whole 420 thing. Um, I'm just saying, I noticed a lot of people was promoting 420. Hey, what's 420? You know what 420 is. How do I got because I know what 420 is, and I don't even... Do you know what 420 is, Nishi? Nishi know what 420 is. I don't even <laughs> partake. <laughs> Enlighten me. I want to know what 420 is. <laughs> I know that's April 20th. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> do you know that's April 20th? Why can't it just be 420? Oh, right. I don't know. I just well, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, well, I ain't telling nothing. What you talking about? <laughs> no, let's do it like this, guys. <laughs> Basically, if you don't know what 420 is, and Google this is this... You can Google it, but I was, you know, I asked somebody because, you know, I heard a couple people talking about it or whatever. And like I said, honestly, I don't, you know, partake in stuff like that. But it's, I guess it's a like a national smoke weed day. Really? I thought you told everybody to Google it. Well, I mean, they can, but I'm I telling them what it is. Tell them. That's fine, but no, because we, we'll, oh, okay. because some people might not know what it means. They might just be like, yeah, 420, and maybe don't know. This is <laughs> this is a information podcast, so I'm putting it out there. That's what it is, okay? People are promoting that on their pages. And I'm like, yeah, you do have kids and this, that, and the other on our pages. And again, like you said, the jobs and stuff looking, they know what's going on. They see this stuff. They know what it is. My thing is, I just feel like Facebook is being used for the wrong reasons. I mean, I'm pretty sure when the, what's his name that started Facebook? Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's not what he had in mind. It was probably more catered to, well, then again, he may have. No, it's just basically, it's, I think it's just an open platform to do what you really right. want to do on it. Right, A right, social right, platform. Right. And, it, and it gives you the power, right. And, you, right. and you have a choice, and these people are making the wrong choices. It's just basically, man, basically, the whole thing is we need to watch what we put out here on these social networks. And then we got to think about, like, who's viewing our pages. Kids, yep. employers, yep. whoever. And those things are on there. For, for basically forever. And you blast your personal information or beefs out there to where actually kids have gotten, have taken their own lives because somebody put some bogus information out right. there about it's, them, it's embarrassed them, right. and it's been suicide. So it's just right, like, right. come on, man, we got to stop it. Right. Okay, I'm going to touch on a few more, and then we're going to get into our, our stories, okay? Mm -hmm. um, there's a thing called Viddy. Um, I guess it's a video thing, and there's Is one. That what I'm yeah, you've been seeing that? Well, I'm too scared to. Huh? Don't do it. I'm just okay. Viddy, and there's another one called Social Cam. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm, I don't know if people know or not, but what, what's happening is, I guess you 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 subscribe to Viddy, and any video you watch is posted to Facebook. So now everybody can see what you just watched. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just saying. You see? <laughs> I'm saying whatever, man. Ooh. Back at you. <laughs> Y'all silly, man. So if you just click on it, you have to click on it and watch the video, or you just click on it and... Uh... You click on it, and I think you... In order to watch... This is how to get you. In order to watch the video... No, but I'm saying, does it actually take over your the viewing? Like, it, it tracks your viewing the moment you click on it? Or the moment you actually watch the video? You watch the video. Oh, okay. But the thing is... <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. I'm just trying to enlighten my... <laughs> oh, okay. So you can just click on it and be like, oh, I, I I'm cool. you like, I'm cool. Okay. But the whole thing is, what happens <laughs> is... <laughs> you silly. <laughs> the thing is, you, you, you click on it, and I think the way they get you is, okay, now, if you want to watch this video, you have to subscribe to us. And once you subscribe to them, you know, it's like, might be fine print. You're saying that 
Any video that you watch through them, and they can actually actually you see it on the on the page if you read it. Right, if you so read came, it. I saw someone that I respected had watched one. I said, oh, maybe I'll check it because she looked at it. I clicked on it, uh -huh. but I happened to see this little there you go. disclaimer down in there. Mm -hmm. like, so pretty much it, it said they will, it's pretty much tracking everything that you're, mm -hmm. can't remember the exact ver verbiage or whatever, but That's I'm not trying to be tracked. Exactly. That's and what you don't want people to know what you was watching either. Uh, they but, make it enlightened. Right, they might, <laughs> but here's the thing though. <laughs> What I'm seeing is a lot of people watching these fights, these people fighting yeah. out in the streets. Yeah. I'm like, that you're what you're doing is you're promoting that if you don't I mean, regardless of how you look at it, because every time you watch one, it's posted on your okay, on your page. Right. So it's like you gotta think, okay, now, like we said, employers or whoever, they're gonna look like, man, this person likes watching violence. They're really into violence. They might. Sucker punch me on the job. <laughs> I mean, it could just be anything. I mean, we just have to really read, like you said, that fine print. You are, you know I don't read. That's but you said you caught it, though. That was by accident. <laughs> but you caught it, though. You caught it. I don't read. So, yeah, guys, that's all. We, <laughs> she, was, <laughs> she was skimming. <laughs> you silly, man. I didn't even skim. We just skimmed. That's good, though. <laughs> she, um, you might not want to do this. That's good, though. So, yeah, man, so that's, like I said, we need to really watch what we put out here on these social networks online. Even if you put a picture up, you might take it down, but I don't know if you know it or not, people can download your pictures. You're forever in Your bed. pictures can be downloaded. It, there's a link on everybody's picture that says download. So you can download now anybody's you pictures. You just right click, copy, and, and pay. Save. Yep, and say, there you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's that simple. It's that simple. Um, right. So we should, not that I represent it. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> But just, guys, I'm just saying, you know, let's try to think before we, just like, think before you speak, think before you act. Anything that you do, let's try to think a little bit and read. Yeah. The fine print. Reading in front of me. That's right. All right, guys, that was my spill. So. <laughs> That's what I'm about to do, read from the script. Right. <laughs> nah. What well, you got? first story of the day. All right. We have a Michigan lotto winner who was charged with welfare fraud. How does that happen? Exactly. How does that happen? Wow. Well, this particular individual, I guess she she was from Michigan. She went on one of these lottery shows and ended up winning about, I think she won a million. Okay. But chose the lump sum of, I guess, about 750000 after taxes is taken out. Right. And continued to receive, I guess, the food uh, card assistance for the most part. <laughs> Instead of reporting that. <laughs> she's a, basically a millionaire right, almost right, now. Right. I'm like, really, you that you that greedy, or you trying to take advantage of the system? I mean, maybe she, no, she because she admitted it. Ignorant. She just admitted it. She admitted it actually to a news station. That's how crazy. Oh, she, oh, so really? she blasted herself out there. Maybe like she that. didn't know. That's that. That's Man. that's kind of no what she was saying. That. Yes, they do. No, know. it was more, it was more. You couldn't possibly know, and you're gonna go on news and say, hey, I still get welfare. Okay, that's <laughs> well, maybe I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna count that up. Maybe the news she part. Could not have I see what you're saying, nah, but no. there were other people that there's have other people done, that have done it several times. So this, this that's is, ignorance. People just don't they know what yes they do. I think a lot of people try to they take advantage. The fact that they're supposed to report the income changes. So, <laughs> they don't you know, forget because they still get there. <laughs> because I mean, they've been doing this for so many years and forgot the rules at the beginning. The rules. <laughs> it's not like you go back. You go back to the rules school of getting public assistance. A reminder, remedial. Hey, you know what? Those are Listen, people that mess it up for the rest silly. of the, the people out here that really need that assistance. Right, right. It, yep. So, and rather than ignorance. Just because she won that money, money, people go through millions. They do, like, but but it's like, like you, like you were saying, though, it messes it up for people that really need it because it's like, yeah, you once you get that money, you should be like, okay, I don't need this, you know, assistance anymore because we are paying. We're the taxpayers. For that. And she got this lump sum of money. But like you said, there's actually been other stories of people doing it. They do it. People hit the lottery and still get they got they got their food stamp car and be hooking it up. That ain't good, man. It's not. That's not good. <laughs> Look at me. Well, anyways, I just I don't know. That's just something. Like it's, if I win if I win a million dollars, like here. just put yourself in her shoes. Say we won a million dollars and we were getting food stamps. 
or whatnot, or receiving assistance, whatever, mm-hmm. I'm automatically gonna be like, I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that. Right. Right. <laughs> but uh, really. I mean, I'm just saying, like, right. Why would I keep accepting something that you know you have to report anyway? It, it is rules to that stuff. It's rules to it, man. But some people, you know, choose not to. Well, some people, she's facing jail time now. There you go. That's what and happens. Possibly up to four years. Four years. But. With seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, he probably got a pretty sharp lawyer. She may get off with house arrest. <laughs> <laughs> so now she's gonna get rid of all of her winnings and still be on welfare. Right. and can't get on welfare. How's she gonna get rid of all change. of her? Wins? But just check it out though. If she, she got, got it, she's gotta pay the lawyer fees. She's gonna pay that much in lawyer fees. Hey. Uh, if she has a really she good murder nobody. If she has a really good, it's yeah. a felony. Hey, look. Yeah, you're right. All I, all I can say is. You know, you won the money. Really? <laughs> right. That's all I can say. You, you won the money and lost the money. Basically. No, no. Well, it's pending. Welfare. No, it's pending. I mean, she may get off. But look at the look at the trouble that she it, has. The charges facing her, but she hasn't been convicted yet. Right. So what she has to do is just wait for the money to come back. Yeah. 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 Ye
As part of our project to enrich society through robots technology, the robots we are introducing to you today is one that comes in direct contact with people. As the desire to be beautiful and to be healthy are connected, we have decided to make the robot available for users to try out for themselves at beauty and hair salons to gather feedback from users towards its commercialization. This robot is equipped with a total of 24 fingers, eight on the right arm, eight on the left, and another eight beneath the neck. Here the robot is applying shampoo. The shampoo is lathered inside the machine, which means it only needs a small amount to wash the entire head. Spraying the shampoo on in this way reduces chafing, making it gentler on the hair and on the scalp. As you can see here, the arm can extend right out, which enables the robot to reach all the way to the middle of the head, ensuring all areas are washed for a variety of head sizes. The unit at the rear for washing the back of the head now begins to move. As it does this, the left and right arm supports the head, controlling the weight applied so that the contact is gentle and minimizing the weight transferred to the neck. The fingers also work to rinse out the shampoo, working to scrub off and remove any dirt. For users with long hair, a special nozzle enables the robot to wash long hair as well. Here the conditioner is being sprayed onto the hair. Spraying the conditioner as a mist ensures that it covers the head efficiently and uniformly. The fingertips then work to thoroughly mix it throughout the hair, which is then gently rinsed out as part of the process. In the final stage, the robot performs a massage while blow drying the hair. This is a finger pressure massage action, which firmly supports the head on all sides, using a gentle but firm pressure. This is extremely relaxing and offers a degree of comfort that users cannot experience with human hands. After we gather the feedback from users, we want to commercialize this robot as soon as possible and make it available for the handicapped and the elderly, for nursing homes and hospitals to help improve their quality of life. The massage from the arm section and the intensity of the water feels really nice. A lot of male customers enjoy a very strong massage and I think the finger pressure of this robot is well capable of delivering that kind of massage. He's the man of the hour. That's the guy who just got his hair done. All right, look, <laughs> guys, we're back. <laughs> so, what you think, Nishi? I don't know. It looks like I'm going to cry, though. Yeah, but, I mean, you you wouldn't do it? Would you do it? I don't know. Does, does it look... Uh, like it would, you know, be relaxing. It looks it, very relaxing. It does. I, I must admit, guys, it looks pretty relaxing. But look, is she sleepy now? I got you. <laughs> I'm watching it. Can you imagine <laughs> if scolding hot water just started squirting <laughs> and it couldn't stop? It's a robot. It's a robot. <laughs> hey, you know what? Yeah, with robots, there's a lot of things that could go wrong. And he said, like. It, it, how it grips the head and everything. I mean, honestly, to tell you the truth, it do look like it's probably relaxing. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, it would feel good, it looked like. It would feel good. If that chair massages with it, then that's, like, that's right. the ultimate. Right. I mean, they said it was for, like, they're going to do it for, like, um, um, like hospitals and stuff like that. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? But I'm pretty sure somebody in a salon going to look at that like, shoot, that'll save me a lot of time. Right. So, they don't have Oh, just as far as washing the hair, yeah. but they right. would still have to have somebody because style some it. Because sometimes students, right? Just to wash hair. Yeah. So now they're taking jobs away from students. Shut <laughs> <laughs> it is. That's, that's, but you have to also take into account the cost. That's true. Not if you're bit on the corner. <laughs> well, well, you also got to are willing this. to you know take that cost. That's that's true if you're trying to save money, but at the same time you start a business to employ. So that's a double edged sword.
Both. <laughs> but did she like a, it, it, would, it would have to be like a high end salon to get that. But say you walk into a salon, is she? And they like, okay, they're gonna do your hair. And they like, well, you know, sit here so we can you can get your hair washed. What would you would you turn around and walk out if you saw this machine? I think I would. Seriously? Yeah. How about you was you didn't like it? I do like it. I can see the benefits, but um I I like human contact. Grab your head and get the stir. Mm-hmm. Then they can use their fingernails and stuff. And yeah. it starts squeezing too hard. Right? Does that thing have fingernails? No. You don't got nails. Then Right. <laughs> Silly man. I like but, like, um, like when you do get your hair washed, like say a girlfriend or a female friend, because I definitely I ain't it. going to the barber I got and letting the guy wash my hair. But they got the fingernails scratching it. See, hold on. Because when I wash my hair, it's, it don't feel as good as when somebody else does it. Right, but check you know this out. I, mean? I just know this because, you know, I know this. What? Right? Check it out. So look. <laughs> what? <laughs> so look. What are you talking say? about? What did you say? <laughs> Listen, so he just said fingernails and scratching the head, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I just know from, you know, the wife and, you know, other female friends from back in the day or whatever. Yeah, pals. Listen. Pals. Now, come on now. Pals. No. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Y'all, like, if somebody, he's talking about nails and stuff. You can't scratch your hair when you're about to get your hair done, right? You scratch your, your scalp, right? You can't? If you're about to get a perm or something, right? Am I right or wrong? Right. So that way, oh, I didn't know that. it's a How gentle, you know that? like I just said. Really? Like that's <laughs> after the process. That's after the process. They don't wash your hair before they do that. No. Oh, okay. Well, I guess no, I. No, if you know. wash your hair prior to getting any type of chemical, you've opened your pores. Right. Therefore, okay. you have open pores. So for that chemical is burning. Burn. 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 Right. So now you created an access point where if you got it scratched or. It's the same right, right. Okay. Okay. And you Sweaty. remember what happened to Denzel and Malcolm X? <laughs> Malcolm, right, right. <laughs> so anyway, guys, <laughs> y'all silly man. Right, that's where I know from. Oh <laughs> <laughs> y'all silly man. Oh, so anyway, hey, I, 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 I want right. I want people to chime in on that. You know, see what you you know. Let me know what you think about. Would you let a robot wash your hair or not? I right. wouldn't. Right. Would you get short out? No, I would not. Would you? You wouldn't do. Man, I ain't got no hair to wash. Man. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, just, I didn't even know that. Trying to be funny, no. <laughs> <laughs> Get your mustache done. Bro. Get my mustache done. <laughs> Yo, silly, man. All right, man. Next story. What we got? What we got? All right, next story. This is a wacky one. Dentist <laughs> oh. pulls all of her ex-boyfriend's teeth out. <laughs> wow. Can you believe that? That's crazy. Okay, first problem. Why did you go to your ex? <laughs> to get any kind of dental work or anything. Right, right. That's like the story that, that we had about the, the um, guy that was a tattoo artist and his ex-girlfriend came in and he put something um, really bad on her back. She was getting a back tattoo and she couldn't see what he was doing, man. What, what, did they, what, ta- what was the tattoo? She put like a... Like a beehive. A mound of... A stinky beehive. Poop. Ooh. With flies around it and it was swirled. Like Right, man. Ooh. Hey, but it's bad, but that's what happened. But go ahead, man. What happened with the, the teeth? Well, anyways, <laughs> so <laughs> basically she had bandaged him up. Dude didn't even know until he got home. <laughs> it looked in the mirror. He, he was all gum, all gums. Gummy. Gummy. So, yeah. That's but uh what hold on. <laughs> Silly man, what's up? Oh, this just in, guys. Hey, what's up? This story is fake. What? The story is fake. How you get that on Well, <laughs> when I got the, you know, M- MSNBC, <laughs> right. basically retracted the story. We were sitting there thinking that this was something real, and it hey, sounded like no. it really couldn't happen. Like, you really went to your ex-girlfriend, and she put all your teeth out. But yeah, wow. it, it never happened. So this was just an example of guys. You can't believe everything you read. It does. It's a retraction. MSNBC yep. reported today. That was on uh, May 9th. May 9th. Yep. That the dentist accused of drugging up her boyfriend and pulling his teeth out doesn't exist. Does not exist. Man, I was hyped about Poland. this story too. It was in Poland. But they said it don't exist though. Okay, but but yeah, oh man. Well, actually, uh-huh. they said that nothing was reported to the police. Now it possibly could have happened there. I wonder. Oh yeah. Hmm. The power of media. 
the moral of the story is <laughs> don't believe everything you read. And don't go to your ex to get any work done. Right. Not Especially even, your teeth. Not even your hair washed. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> That's crazy. Ooh, I can imagine if he went for surgery on some type. But yeah, yeah. Some people do just put stories out here, man. That's the thing. You do got to be careful of what you what you believe. Because some people just want attention. They'll put anything out. Because yeah. I really thought that that happened. And I was like, I, I feel bad for that guy. When I came across, I had so many funny, you know, spinoffs and segues to talk about. <laughs> and then they pulled the story and they didn't even read it. Right, right. So whatever. Okay, so look. I got another video for y'all. Another one? Another one. Okay. Okay. Now, is this comedy or is this sad? You know, okay. you like to spring those sad ones on us. This is this is what this is. Okay, I know. <laughs> um, we all know about you know performing arts. Okay, yeah. you know what performing arts, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, I don't know if you guys ever watched you know any performing arts you know um, things or not shows. Okay, but sometimes they can get kind of kind of weird, man. <laughs> well, give an example. What, what Expression. Of, what, what type hmm? of performing arts show? Give an example. Well. I'm gonna play the video for you so you can okay. see, but it's right here. Talking about like, okay, I'm pull it up. like the voice in American Idol and all that type of stuff. Let me let me let's do this. Do you do you like butter? Do you use butter? I tend to use margarine, but margarine. Sure. Butter. I, I like butter. You like butter? Okay. If you like butter, you'll like this video. All right. I'm ready. All right. Let's go. <laughs> All right, man. All right, man. Can, can we get a unanimous? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, my goodness, wow. guys. That was an 
Same. Okay. Parquet. <laughs> Parquet. <laughs> Who was that commercial? It was just, let me like do the butter thing open up. It's like parquet, okay. wasn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it'd be like butter, don't it? Butter. 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 Yeah, butter. yeah. Butter. 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 Right. Yeah. All, All right. By the TV. <laughs> Man, okay, listen. That's performing arts. I mean, you know, that's performing arts. That's performing arts? <laughs> I went from yeah. this video to some other ones, and it's, it gets, it's the same type of thing. But is that, I mean, is that what you into? That's what you do? I mean, but that, that was a fit. To me, video. I don't know, man. No. Look, all I, all I can say is, come I on, I researched man. it also. You did? Who, who I did? mean, like you did, just looking for the picture. Did you do a report? So, oh. so, no, I didn't do a report. So basically, <laughs> I did not do a report. So, so basically, this this is planned. See, look, this duck butter dance. <laughs> butter dance reaction. So this, <laughs> so this is all coming to the Civic, then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. <laughs> But man, you know what? Like, that's performing arts, I guess. I mean, here we go. We could we could take this and look at this as like, you could do anything you want to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Are they making money? Dude, on this? she's. You see, it was like a lot of people around her, like taking and they, pictures no of her. One laughed. Yeah, it's serious. This they is were serious about it. Serious thing. The audience, no one laughed. No one made jokes about well, it. Well, I'm sure you guys are gonna go watch the video, but they. She literally had. It was really twenty minutes. How many how many sticks of butter was she? <laughs> she had. Was she doing four, a tootsie roll of? Two, four, six, twenty. Six and, sticks. And 20. These, oh, twenty sticks of butter, guys. No, no, but but are these? I think these are the big um. Like oh, the, the big butters. Butters. The welfare, the no, government butter. The government butters. Nah, <laughs> her, them, right. them, them right. government right. butters wouldn't have melted. <laughs> At all. <laughs> At all. <laughs> right. That's a land of lake. That's a land of lake. Salted. Salted. <laughs> Crazy. All right. Hey, look, you know, it's some things, you know, like I said, we laugh and joke about, man, that's they thing, that's they do, and she, you know, but she could have really got hurt doing that too, man. She probably did. I'm pretty sure, like, she was hitting her knees, but what if she, like, slipped and, like, hit her head? Like, boom. I like, think she did. Hit. <laughs> they just ain't sure. Oh, another thing, guys. Um, Okay, this this um, this clip was like over six minutes long. Twenty minutes. That's what I'm about to say. Like they cut it down to six minutes, <laughs> but she actually did this for over for like twenty, 20 minutes. minutes. That's a good workout, though. Yeah, it looks like a good a Pilates, you know. It's a good workout. That is that course. like so? We should do that. Like, what is that? Zum- jump, Zumba. Zumba. That's the new I Zumba. Know, but I would class- I don't know what I would classify that as. She's, she's working her core. Yeah, she's she working her core. Okay. Her legs, her glutes, her. Okay, her butter. Her butter got worked out. Her, her, butter got worked out. Her, her knees are more tender from <laughs> smacking her. <laughs> right. You know, right. who, wants, who wants hard knees? <laughs> right, but the, the butter moisture. Get a moisture. <laughs> she got moisturized. Yeah, it's but all, all in one. You know, take yeah. care of your skin and your, you know. One it's your good one. It might be. It might be. Do, you know, do you know how many cows died from that? <laughs> 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 no, but man, I can guess some of the comments. People was talking about how many cookies they could have made. Right. And, you know, that's crazy. That's jacked up, man. So, oh, what was that? Oh, no, 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 oh, butter love. And you, we can't oh, pay too perfect. much of it though, because we gotta pay for the license. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, no, look, I'll sing it. No, <laughs> no. that's what Nishi was just singing it. Two. <laughs> Cut it off. <laughs> so anyway, guys, uh, next the group next, they have a song called Butter Love. Ironically, <laughs> so that was just like, man, I, I might have to put together a video with that playing but in the that's back. Amazing. She did not scream. She didn't. I mean, nothing. Right. That, I think they that was the audio. She probably was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they cut out bits and pieces, so maybe they did cut off. Where she screamed, right? I'm sure of it. I don't think so. She kept Dude, going forward. Look how exhausted she is. Minutes. But check it though. The whole thing is, like we said, this is serious right now. I think that her like not screaming and then like the way she was doing her eyes all big and like I think that was part of the performance. Which more so makes me think it's a fetish video. She has a high tolerance for Dude, pain. no, mine is no. So, this is performing arts. This is basically S and M video. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what it's performing arts. It says it. <laughs> performance <laughs> studio. It's performance. I can type that and say that that's what it is, but I don't mean that's no, what it is. No, that's what I'm it checking is. out the symbolism and all that mess. That's man. not symbolic. Symbolic of fetish videos. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is, but 
Have some people. Some people, you know. Some there. Right, right. <laughs> Dang it. All that butter. Right. Wasted. That's a waste of money. That's like $3 a block. 20 hey. blocks. Right. Well, I'm That's sure they, right. they charge a lot for the tickets. I they probably so. do. She got at least her money for the butter bag. <laughs> She's like, I hope they made money to get the butter back. She had to bring her own butter and everything. They couldn't even supply the girl with butter. <laughs> and she messed up some decent shoes. Hey, <laughs> it's all for the arts. And that dress was kind of cute, too. Her hair was cute. She came out there looking lightweight cute. And then at the end... <laughs> but if it's art, then it's acceptable. <laughs> right. The audience is taking pictures. They're not laughing. Yeah, that's serious. They is on it, man. That's she great. Tracking poses, and that must be like mm -hmm. that's like the actual dance. You see how she goes. It say yeah. It say butter dance. Up and down. Right. She's getting it. How did you come across this video? I honestly, man. What I, are you doing? <laughs> whatever. <man. laughs> we need a skinny bitty to be No, man. I mean, just so. This might have been uh, something that was on AOL. Just, you know, being online, man, all these different videos pop up. there would be stuff that, you know, that's interesting, you know, so. Stop putting up your middle fingers. Right, but we do got to watch what we click on and what we do, too. You know what I mean? For real. Oh, hey, man. shit, man. So, well, I guess that's it, man. That sounds like it's almost it. That's it. I have a you couple got one more for announcements. Me? Oh, okay. Because we got a lot of events going on for this month of May. Okay. Okay, so. First event coming up is May 16th at the Akron Main Public Library. It's going to be Alienation, a new way project, working along with the Stop the Violence Movement and CODI, which I think stands for Children of Tomorrow's Youth. Okay. Okay, these are all like grassroots organizations that I'm involved with and partnering up with to provide the public with information of what's going on this summer that you can do with your kids. So parents, I encourage you to come out you know, bring your children. It's going to be um, Akron Arrows should be there as far as letting them know what summer games are going on. We got a couple colleges attending, you know, if you want to take some summer classes. We got Strayer University there. Um, I'm trying to think who else is going to be there. This is just going to be a lot of different vendors there. Right. Pre event, just come down to the main library. It's a beautiful facility. It is so beautiful down there. Really? Right awesome. next to the Akron Art Museum. You got to check that out. Next event after that will be. Uh, Community Family Fun Day at Hawkins Park. Everybody know what Hawkins Park is? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> and what that is is basically another free event okay. for the community. It don't matter what side of town you're from, come from the east side, hit up the west side. If you're from the north or the south, come to <clears throat> Hawkins Park on May 20th, Community Family Fun Day. There's going to cool. be all kind of games and stuff for kids to play. I mean, it's, it's just going to be fun, and I'm going to perform, too. That's hot. That's how maybe the form positive music, right? Positive hip hop, right? Maybe the what's really good show can be there live. We, we might just pop up on location. <laughs> uh, let's, see, let's see what else we got. May 22nd, um, my organization, uh, Alienation Foundation, a new way project. We're having a fundraiser at Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, that's so hot. bring out the kids for that. It's going to be, I believe, what do we say, May 22nd? I think that's a Tuesday. From it starts like at three, should be three like three p.m. to nine p.m. So you know if you can't get there at the beginning, just come when you can come. Come show your support because what we're gonna do, you know, with the proceeds is put it right back into what we're already doing, and we're pointing the youth in the right direction by providing them with outlets, right. and things to do, so they can stop killing each other and stop getting into trouble and get tossed into jail. All so it's fun. all about having fun this summer, guys. <clears throat> all right, and May thirty first. We're going to be at Hope Academy for the second annual New Way Showcase. Okay. Man, that's going to be fun. We got a special guest. Uh, don't even the tell act, them. Don't tell them. Just tell them to come out and you can see who the special guest is. Just come see who the special. Actually, this isn't open to the public. I'm just announcing this oh, one. Oh, okay. So this one isn't open to the public. But oh, if okay. your kids go to Hope Academy, we've got a super duper surprise for them. Well, so don't tell them. I'm not going to tell them. Right. <laughs> um, and just to end on events. Me and you have to do the June 9th and June 10th. There's a football camp going on down at Lane Field. So we will be there making announcements, might pop off a little performance, do a little bit of mentoring to the kids while they're training, doing the football camp. It's supposed to be celebrity athletes there. A lot of media be there. So come on out and show your support right. to the youth. That's right. All That's right. right.
You got any announcements, Miss Nietzsche? No, I don't. You got any announcements, brother? All I got to say is thank y'all for watching. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, again, if you want to send us an email to let us know what you think about the show, um, send us an email at reallygoody at gmail.com. Okay, um, you can give us a call, leave us a message, and let us know, you know, if you like the, the way things are going, any changes you think we should make, or, you know, we, we're, we're open, okay, to, to hear some constructive criticism, all right? Um, or you just want to say hey or whatever, just, you know, you can give us a call and leave us a message. That number is 724-964-6631, okay, so you can, you can do that. And if you want to participate, um, you can go to our Reddit, our subreddit. That's at um, uh, reallygoody.com. You can get there and post stories and vote them up and down. Hit us up on Facebook. And if you have a, let's say, a nonprofit organization or a grassroots organization that helps out the community and you want to come on the show and actually, you know, yeah, do you a can... little interview or just tell us a little bit about your organization, you are welcome. So hit us up. What's right. The number, the number again is 724-964-6631 a little spotlight. Right. And don't forget about the pre-show. We're still giving away $25 Visa gift cards every pre-show. Somebody just won one. Oh, Tawana yeah. Pearson. Tawana Pearson. Right. She got $25 Visa gift card, man. Congratulations, so, Tawana. Be on the lookout. Like I, I said, for you want to ask for a loan? Okay. Mm -hmm. See, she got that money now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why? So, yeah, tune into the pre-show, guys. We do it before every show. All right? Yes, that's it. That's it. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching again. It's the What's Really Good Show. I'm Ramon Jamal. I'm A Minus. And I'm Nietzsche. Peace. Peace. Check, check this out.